Dave Scott Hub Media, joined by Dave Horton from MS Canada. It's walk time, Dave. I'm excited. Um, can I bring my dog is going to be my question this year, just to get you started. You can bring your dog as long as it's on leash. And uh, welcome. I'm not sure it's welcome in the building, but certainly to walk outside. <laughs> yeah. And bring, your little, bring my little baggie, right? Yeah. Go ahead, bring bring my baggie. your baggie, yeah. Yeah. Um, Thank you for that. I appreciate it. You know, I'm a big dog lover and I always love talking to you about pets off air folks. We go into this whole thing. We catch up about family and animals and it's always fun. Always fun to see Dave, but let's get down to it. MS walks coming uh, date, time, place. Go. Uh, the walk this year is on Sunday, May the 26th. Um, it's being held again from the Simcoe Legion, which is right on our, our route. And uh, we had it for the first time last year, and it worked out really well, and people enjoyed it. So it's Sunday the 26th. Uh, Check-in will begin about 8.30 in the morning uh, with a light breakfast, opening ceremonies at 10.30 with some, hopefully some speakers. Uh, our mayor has committed. Uh, our MPP and MP have know about it, but they haven't gotten back yet. So I, I expect that we'll hear from one or both. And then uh, the walk begins at 11. Uh, it's a, a 5K walk uh, following the same route as we have and uh, seems to be an enjoyable time as long as the weather behaves. And usually by the end of May, it's usually pretty pretty reasonable and pretty good, pretty good weather. What's your goals this year and, and how did you make out last year? Well, our target uh, this year is 36,000. Last year, our target was 33, and we actually were able to raise $47,000. So it was considerably higher than what I even anticipated uh, compared to the year before, which was just sort of our first year getting back to, to more normal, uh, not last year, the year before that. So, um, but we've set our target at 36 to be reasonable and realistic, and we're really hoping to get more walkers out. Uh, we're encouraging walkers to come from other localities, such as Brantford, because they don't have a walk any longer. And uh, we want to see people from Delhi and Waterford and, and Port Rowan and Port Dover. And, and uh, it's not just a Simcoe walk. Do you, uh, what, what, the, um, the amount of participants every year, is it pretty standard or are you seeing a little bit of a climb last year then? Did you see more folks getting out and walking? Well, last year was was a good indicator that we're, we're getting back on track because we had about 70 walkers last year compared to 25 the year before. And that was just coming out of COVID, of course. So yep. we, we weren't sure just what was going to happen. Uh, so this year, we're hoping that we're going to have 100 plus walkers. And uh, if we do our job properly and get the advertising out there and let people know about it, then uh, hopefully we'll they'll show. That's excellent. Um, and talk a little bit about what the money goes to, because I don't know if people really understand. You, you like you're working your butt off and you guys raise forty seven thousand dollars. So share with us where it goes and what, how that that money is used in the community. Well, MS Canada usually likes to um, use uh, a good portion of this money for funding research projects across Canada and even internationally. They, they're involved with international MS research as well. But, um, you know, in the, over the last 20 years, we've had easily 15 new uh, medications available to treat MS, different stages of MS. And that's only because of the research that's been done and only because of the money that's been raised through things like the MS Walk. Uh, certainly a good portion of the money raised goes for programs and services, services being uh, assisting those with MS with uh, helping them uh, purchase mobility aids and et cetera, et cetera. Um, and programs as far as education programs and speakers and uh, bringing them up to date on things. There's something not really new, but newish called the Knowledge Network. And this is uh, funded by MS Canada, and uh, they have uh, people available from eight in the morning until eight at night, uh, right across Canada, 
to uh, if you call, call into the 800 number, then uh, it is answered by one of these uh, knowledge network spokespersons who will answer questions about anything pretty much that you have to do with MS, especially persons with their newly diagnosed and they really, really don't know enough about what's what's going on, what to expect, where to get the resources. So it's been a very, very positive um, uh, thing that's been established by MS Canada. Is MS growing in Haldeman Norfolk? Like, are you? Are you? I know that you're probably not privy to that. I don't know if you are, but is do you feel like it's? Yeah, are we getting more folks with it, or is it? You know, where do where do we stand on that comparative over the years? I, I can't even answer that um, because we don't, we're not privy to any kind okay. of statistics. Okay. But, uh, you know, the feeling through MS Canada is that there are 90,000 people living with MS across Canada. And they also say that there are 12 newly diagnosed people every day. So that kind of gives you a, a sense of uh, that it's, it's there, it's going to be there. I can't say it's increasing in numbers over the last few years. So uh, locally, again, I don't know, but I don't hear of many new cases, you know, people calling and asking for help and that sort of thing. But I wouldn't really be able to, to answer that because if they're calling, they're either talking to somebody through the Knowledge Network or calling MS Canada directly yep. and to try to get the assistance that they need. Okay. And, and yeah, I know there's MS in your family and, and can you talk a little bit about that? Because it's an ongoing battle. It's not, you know, when you're in your scenario, I mean, it's kind of one of those ones where it's stretched out over a long period of time and the day-to-day -day rigmarole, right? Like you said, the medications have gotten a lot better. The quality of life has probably improved dramatically too in that time span. Has it not? Oh, it has. Um, you know, there are treatments that treat just about every every uh, one of the the sort of four conditions of MS that are available, which is primary progressive, secondary progressive, relapsing remitting, and, uh, and I think there's another one called benign or something. Um, but there are new medications available for that. Um, the, the thing personally with, with my wife, who's been living with this for now probably 45 years, um, and her condition is classified as secondary progressive, which just means that there is a, a very sort of slow slope in her disability. Um, so instead of uh, when initially with this, she started to use a cane for stability and for balance, and now has progressed to a, a walker for the last quite a few years, actually. And if we go on a, any kind of a, a long haul, then we'll just get in a wheelchair which we have, and uh, we even bought a, a little portable scooter so that if she really wants to, especially go on the walk, for instance, then the scooter's the way to go, and uh, it, it really works well. But there's so many different degrees of, of uh, symptoms of MS and how it affects people differently, and, and obviously some handle it really well and others are struggling with it, and, and uh, those are the ones that we hope that we can help in some way. That's a really good point you just brought up, and I want to touch base if you don't mind on it because it's a physical element, but the mental health too is critical, isn't it? Like it's oh, absolutely, and and you, you've got to be positive and somehow keep that reinforced that you know you can you can lead a life. And uh, can you speak to that for a little bit? Do you mind? Well, depression is recognized as um, part of the process of MS, and uh, again, there are people that can handle handle the mental struggles of, of a chronic disease like MS much better than others. And, uh, but it is recognized that depression is, a, is a, a big concern and we can only recommend for those people that they search out uh, medical help because you very difficult, if not impossible to deal with it properly on your own. Um, family, Family members are fine to help you, but they're still not the professionals that you need. And, uh, but uh, I think that, again, people with MS, uh, some of them really do struggle. But, you know, the ones that I know here locally seem to really have a positive outlook. In other words, they're not going to let it beat them. 
And that's that's the message that I can continually hear and even see with some of the publications that MS Canada puts out. They're not allowing this disease to beat them. That's excellent. I mean, and you got to be positive, right? That's I agree with you 100%. In any life, any walk in life, in any situation, that's the way you get through it. Um, yeah. Can people register online? How do you how do you want them to go about signing up for the walk? Well, the best thing is to go to their website, which is www.mswalks.ca. And they can they can register themselves. They can register as a team if they can get some family and friends together. Or they can just simply make a donation to a participant if they know somebody in the walk and, and they want to make a donation. Uh, but, of course, they can also just give money to that participant by handing them a cash or a check and one way or another it'll get to where it's supposed to go and the ms ms uh, website i think it's a drop down and yours is the uh simco walk correct it's a simco norfolk walk simco norfolk walk yeah and and uh, it's very easy to find and uh, i'm not even sure at this point i haven't looked recently i should have before this but uh, how many registrants we have but it's probably too early to get excited or to get disappointed so we're, uh, but we'll see. We're just now starting to gear up with our our advertising. So we're going to be soon putting up our banners and our mobile signs, and and soon sending out uh, sponsorship packages to our local businesses, and hope that we can get some support from them. And so you know, it's it's in the works. Um, and it's Sunday, May twenty sixth. Sunday, May twenty sixth. Yeah, at the Simcoe Legion Branch seventy nine, Royal Canadian Legion. 200 West Street, Simcoe. Folks don't know where it is. That's where it is. And uh, the route's five kilometers. And and come and join Dave and have a, have a fun day of walking. Right, Dave? Right. And we're also um, having on Sunday, May the 5th. Okay. Uh, at Kaylee's Restaurant. Oh. He's putting on a breakfast. Your breakfast. From 8 till 1. And there's just going to be a selection of three different uh, menu items. But, uh, and if people would like to support the MS Society in addition to walking, then yep. we would encourage them to come. But if they can't even get to the walk or don't want to participate that way, then we'd love to see them come out and at least uh, help us out at the breakfast. And what time does the breakfast start? Because it's so good. You want to get there early, don't you? It's, it's, <laughs> eight, it's going to start at eight in the morning. Okay. And it's going to go through till one. And uh, reservations are, are not required walk-ins are available for sure yeah. but uh, recommend reservations are recommended let's put it that way will you be uh serving this year will you be working the floor i'll be there that's right <laughs> in some capacity i might be manning the dishwasher but who knows <laughs> and i don't care as long as as long as we have and last year was just it was fun it really was fun it turned out really well we raised uh eleven hundred dollars and the food is year. always great. And the breakfast, oh, yeah. Food is so good. Like yeah. I, yeah. You know, before the pandemic, I know we used to go to that, and I was just like, that was such a good breakfast. Yeah. And you, and it's really good because I love that there was such a sense of community in the restaurant. Yes. Everybody was yeah. there for the right reason. It was so much yeah. fun. Exactly. And and Kaylee and her staff donate their time. Uh, they just she just charges the cost of the food, and yeah. uh, then all the rest is donated. So. Uh, it, kudos to her for doing that. And that's May 5th at 8 a.m. So that's, is that a Saturday or Sunday? I can't it's remember. Sun, it's a Sunday as well. It's a yeah. Sunday. Sunday, May 5th. Breakfast at Kaylee's, folks. Yep. If you can't make the walk, go there and enjoy. Yep. And uh, help out help out the MS Society uh, Canada. Uh, I know you got to go. Thanks for doing this today. I appreciate your time. You're a busy guy. And uh, how many years is this for you? I'm just curious. Well, I've been, boy, I've been involved with... Um, the MS Society, when uh, we first started, I think in 79. 79. So I've been at it however many years that is. I can't tell you what number of walk this is, but I think it's got to be around 25. Boy, and um, so, you know, we, we want to keep that tradition going. We're one of the few volunteer-led walks across Canada. So they've asked us to continue on. Keep up the good work, Dave, and I appreciate all you do for the MS. It's it's amazing every year what you're able to accomplish, and and you're such a big part of the community for doing this. Thank you. 
Thank you for doing this for us, Dave. We really appreciate it. Look forward to catching up. Take care, bud. Okay. Bye now.